It has been five years since Hurricane Harvey slammed into the Texas coast. 68 people lost their lives during the storm, including a veteran Houston police officer. And tonight, his widow is reflecting on his life and legacy. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner live tonight near downtown Houston with the interview you'll see only on 2. Rochelle? Daniela Sergeant Steve Perez was a hardworking man who loved his family and his job. For the first time, his family is sharing how this tragedy changed their lives and making sure his spirit lives on. My heart just, my whole world turned upside down that day. Cheryl Perez gets emotional talking about August 29, 2017. On that day, her husband, Sergeant Steve Perez, died trying to get to work during Hurricane Harvey. He was two days shy of his 61st birthday. Well, he was... <laughs> he was a great man. He loved what he, he loved, his job. Sergeant Perez dedicated 34 years to the Houston Police Department serving in various divisions. His daughter Sabrina says his motto in life was we've got work to do. He loved his job. It was his passion. He loved to serve the community however he could. Maverick Perez says he feels closer to his dad and cherishes the time they spent together. I thought he was like, yeah, Superman. He was like always, always there. He was always one step ahead of what you were thinking. Marcus Rio says his uncle was a family man. He and his wife Cheryl treated him like their own son. He was very, very family motivated, and he knew he's like that's love, you know, and tried to carry that with everything, everybody, and everyone he ever came across. Five years have passed since Sergeant Steve Perez died, but the family is grateful for COPS, which stands for Concerns of Police Survivors. The program helps families who've lost loved ones in the line of duty. And your husband, he would have been proud of you for doing this, for getting involved. And, and I'm doing it for him. I know he, yes, I know he is proud of me because I'm doing it for him. I'm the loving father, husband, uncle, police sergeant, and friend will never be forgotten. His family grateful for the memories they made together. He would have done anything for anybody. And the family says they plan to visit his gravesite and celebrate his birthday on August 31st. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.